Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle, of course, with yours truly, the Skyrender. And uh, yeah, today I have a very interesting team analysis, and this is against Ash and Akai, or Eric, of course. And uh, yeah, sorry for not doing these kind of videos for a long time. Now, the obvious reason for that has been that people are really watching them. But at the same time, I really want to do this because I think it's fun. So, I'm somewhat in a sweet spot here, and uh, I decided, so let's do it. Let's see how this video does. And uh, if it does fairly well, I'll try to do this for every matchup. Or actually, I will have two battles after this, depending on how we do, of course, this week. Because we, of course, need a win yet again. We're going against Eric, which has, I do believe, won seven times and lost two. So, he's definitely in playoff. I, myself, is for four wins and five losses. So, while that's good... It still is not good enough to go for playoffs, so I really, really need to beat Eric, and um, I did a few changes to my team after previous week's uh, fiasco, or actually I won, never mind, but I felt that my team is not really doing too healthy, so I actually traded Charizard X for Dragonite, so probably not the solid, most solid mon, but I needed something else than Dragonite, other than Charizard X. It sadly has been up for... Um, or I built a good team around Charizard X, but at the same time, I actually lost a lot of momentum because people were building for Charizard X, which made that it usually failed to actually keep itself healthy, and that's kind of annoying, and also I feel that it's very unfair for my overall team. So with that said, I had to drop it. Uh, and other than that, I actually dropped the Tangrowth and Tentacruel, and added Rose Rage and Mega Scissor. So Mega Scissor... Um, Rose Raid and Dragonite are new members to the Scandinavian Stoutlands. And I hope we should do well with that. So with that said, we're going up against Eric's team, and as you can see on the screen, we are dealing with Greninja, Victini, Sylveon, Megalopon, and Gatotel, Golbat, Registeel, Crocodile, Tarantrum, and Rolling Moor. So a lot of mons here to be dealing with, as you guys see on the screen, this is the team we're actually going with. A very heavy offensive Zan team with Tarantar, Stoutland, Sandslash, and Mega Sister, Thunderous, and Keldeo. To fill the void, basically. They are not as useful this game, but at the same time, they were the more useful members I had. Uh, Victini puts immense pressure on my team, which meant that even though I could say that Rose Trade is a very solid mod overall, it fails in comparison to the Speed Tide, or not Speed Tide, actually, it's Speed Defeated by, um, by my opponent's Victini. So that sucks, even though I really want to use Rose Raid just for Sylveon alone, because Sylveon is going to be a major threat this game. And of course, Mega Law Pun is just all kinds of punishing. So uh, this time, I do have something prepared. I actually do have a showdown uh, graph here, so hopefully this, guy, this thing is going to look great for you. Um, and if it doesn't, then at least I tried. <laughs> um, so yeah, here we go. So here's the Keldeo on the screen, and uh, what can I say about Keldeo? It is fast enough to outspeed Victini if it isn't um, if it isn't scarfed. And a secret sword called Calm Mind, and then Toxic for Gothitelle. And we had Shed Shell basically to try to survive uh, Gothitelle because Gothitelle is gonna be able to lock us down. So Keldeo fills that void of being able to kind of hurt it, even punish it with Toxic, and then actually get out. Um, Keldeo also has a great response to his Greninja, so therefore I felt that that was probably my most important aspect, really. Um, while I'm saying this, I kind of realized that you don't see... Um, I am so prepared for this move up. Of course you guys should see <laughs> his team. So, um, anyway, it can also deal with Greninja, or his Registeel really well, so... I felt that overall that was my smartest option to go with, so, uh, yeah. I'm actually glad to have this um, have this team. It's it's going to work. It, he's definitely going to work if he's forced to go for those matchups, which is uh, Eric's perk when it comes to this game because he has them. Um, Fusion Bolt does not take us out if he's um, a timid set, so or a jolly. But we need to be a good help when we do that if that's come to fruition. Uh, next one, Scarfed Thunderous. And I know what you guys are thinking, that's pretty darn stupid, and I'll agree. It's, um, I was debating this, really, but it comes down to this. I really, really don't want to take chances with his Greninja, and I really want to, don't want to take chances on a Scarf Victini, and uh, I won't have any situation where Thunders really can set up a nasty plot, nor will I have a situation where 
I can set up agility or anything like that for Thunders. So I'm better off going for that extra speed, uh, make sure I hit hard instead, and has uh, choice card. So I have Volt Switch, Sludge Wave, and Dark Pulse, which means that mods like Ready Steel are actually wanting this kind of well. I was debating this Superpower or Focus Blast, but I still need Thunder Wave. Because he still has Tarantrum. Let's say his Tarantrum set up Dragon Dance. At, at plus one, it's not an issue. At plus two, it starts doing stuff and I can't outspeed it, which means that Thunder Wave is my overall smarter option. And uh, then the reason for Thunder Wave is actually to go for Thunder Wave and fall basically next turn. Uh, pretty simple idea here. It can deal with a lot of months. Sludge Wave can do 50% to, uh, to his uh, Sylveon, which I know is going to be an issue this game. But outside of that, it's just your standard, pretty, well, we call it, Thunders. <laughs> Next one, uh, Tyranitar with Pursuit, Stone Edge, Protect, Stealth Rock. Uh, and you wonder why the hell do I have Protect? Well, it is this simple. I am so sure that his uh, big team is going to be Choice Scarfed, and uh, I'm also pretty sure that he's going to use High Jump Kick over uh, Frame Punch on Law Pony. So, Tyranitar can go for Protect and actually hurt um, Law Pony by doing that and actually lose 50% of, of his HP. So that's something I'm going to go with and um, I really want to see what uh, Victini could think of the lock itself into. So overall this is probably my better option. Uh, that's Shuffleberry to survive Brick Break from Victini and uh, it barely survives High Jump Kick from Law Pony. I I'll say that that's not the purpose of it. It's it is to actually be able to deal with Victini. So, therefore, I decided to go for it. And yeah, other than that, Pursuit does not kill Victini, uh, but it does enough damage to make it die to rocks in later turns. And Stone Edge just basic stab. Uh, Trenders' role in this game is up sand. That, that is what it will come down to. It'll be a somewhat defensive mon. And so, n no like offensive presence. It's, um, it's just here to look pretty. Um, next mon, Scissor. And a bit unique this time, because I really don't want to be very specific with Mon, but Scissor had to be that. So we go with Adamant, Max Attack, some defensive investment to make sure we avoid a 2 hit kill for a high jump kick from an Adamant, Law Pony. And um, basically enough speed to make sure that after 1 Agility, we are all outspeeding a Scarfed um, Victini. And, um, or we're not, we're not faster than it by default, but we have access to Agility. And I see now I have two U-turns. Um, it is supposed to be superpower. I I'm doing this really. Uh, it it's not like it's mattered. I'm doing it here, but anyway, we have superpower for uh, Ready Steel and Law Pony. Uh, we have U-turn for um, everything else. It can't hurt enough, such as Rotom and um, Rotom and yeah, Victini. Because I was debating knockoff, but U-turn is probably the better option because Sister can actually force switches. So if I see a situation where I can force switch, then I'm definitely gonna do it. And uh, Bullet Punch is there for the rest. I mean, Bullet Punch is... Uh, I think I did 60% on Law Pony, basically. It has no defensive investment. It is pretty much close enough to kill even Tarantrum. So, uh, yeah, Red Cells do fairly well this game. But uh, at the same time, it's not my primary choice. But can I pull off Agility, and that's gonna work. Um, the reason I go for U-Turn over Bull or uh, Bug Bite is because I really don't want Sister to stay in against every matchup that comes in. Such as Victini. I'm better off actually going for U to get the damage and then bring Tyranitar or something like that. I can take the damage better. Uh, it is the overall smarter option. While it's not pretty, it still is the best choice I have. And my last two mods are, as you guys can think, Golbat is a thing here in this game. So I was thinking that Stealthlin could be of well use. Choice Bandit returns to Power Crunch, Wild Charge hurts everything you've seen. Wild Charge, Choice Bandit, Wild Charge. While that basically kills me, is actually enough to 2 hit kill a defensive Golbat. Now, I will not go for it if I don't have to, but at the same time, if I had to pick a choice, then yeah, that's gonna be the thing. Because, um, I was thinking that maybe Kelgo and Fudders can friend it out, but at the same time, it's kind of dangerous doing that, stuff like I can stay in against it, and it can actually put a hard pressure on it. And uh, overall, if Registeel is gone, then I can just spam return. Uh, so that's gonna be my main choice, actually. Um, and yeah, it's just a basic Stoutland, I can't really say much more. Um, it does well once the speed is up, and we have enough speed investment here to actually uh, outspeed anything in his team that could be possible to scarf, such as <clears throat> Victini. 
Uh, it's not like he's gonna use a Scarf Grenade, he has no re real reason for it. And we also outspeed Lopani in the sand. And we can take a high jump kick. It doesn't matter how much defenses I go with, I I'm still die to a high jump kick, so fuck it. <laughs> Next one is a Sand Slash. And uh, for the same reasons, actually, I was debating Stone Edge or Poison Jab, but I was thinking like this. Knockoff still does what it does to against his Golbat, and Poison Jab pretty much kills his Rotom. So if I can go for a combination of knockoff and poison jab against his Rotom, as long as it isn't, uh, well, I'm expecting it to be a scarf set this game. So that would probably be my main choice here. Cho poison jab basically does 70% on it, and that's enough damage. So it goes for Sylveon too. It does slightly more than Earthquake, but not by a whole lot. But it's still my primary choice. And outside of that, Earthquake hurts a lot. Like everything that isn't floating is dying. Ready Steel cannot deal with the Sand Slash. So Sand Slash is my primary choice if it brings in. Uh, his Rage Steel, mostly due to that his Rage Steel will probably just be his Rock Renway, which means that I can only, not only hurt it with Earthquake, I can actually spin him away without hurting my team too much. So Sand Slash is a mighty mod in this game. And it can also take on Victini fairly well. It can take U-Turns and, um, oh, what do you call it, the V-Create. Not well, mind you, but it does can't take it. And a High Jump Kick does around 70% on Sand Slash. I could have gone with more defenses, but decided to go for HP. Basically, I thought it looked nicer, but defense might have been the better choice actually thinking about it. And we have enough speed here, and that is, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, having so much EVs in speed to outspeed a Scarf Victini kinda sucks, but at the same time, that's the game I'm playing, that's the game I have to play. I need to be faster than Victini if it is Scarf. I don't want any residual damage, I actually want to dominate in the sand, and uh, this is the way to do it. So yeah! That should cover up my team, I hope you guys like that kind of analysis, I know it's kinda lazy then. Um, I should probably have done this a lot better, actually. <laughs> but yeah, if I had to make a call on what is bringing against me, um, I'm actually, like Reninja, Victini, Sylvia, and Megalopony, those four, his first four, they are given. Like, I don't see any reason for him not bringing those mons. Uh, they all do well against me. And then it goes back to, you know, how well would Gototel do? How well would Golbat do? Um, and Gototel, I, I'm fearing it, but I have the means of dealing with it. But at the same time, I have a situation where it just can lock me down. And that's why I have fought, like Volt Switch on uh, Thunders and stuff like that. So I know I can survive the matchup and get out of there. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's about it. I don't like Godotan mostly because of that. And hopefully, uh, my scissor is fast enough to actually KO it. But, yeah, Godotel is what I'm kind of fearing. Um, Golbat I don't see because of my, <laughs> because of my mighty Tyranitar. I think you really want to keep that one away. And then we have Registeel, which is it is between Registeel and Crocodile. Uh, which one will be his rocker? Uh, Crocodile is much, much heavier pressured on me because it's it's very likely to force out Sand Slash. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of that. And Registeel does well, but um, I could work around him much easier than Crocodile. So I'm fearing it's going to bring Crocodile. Um, I don't see Tarantrum at all, actually, because I have the team to deal with it. And Rotom Maw, yes, I mean, it does have that typing that just keeps me away from him. So, um, yeah, I guess a, a good, if he brings the team I'm thinking, there's going to be Greninja, Victini, Sylvia, Megalopony, Rotom Maw, and uh, Crocodile. Um, Crocodile is going to be extremely heavy on me, uh, but he, I'm, he might as well be a Registeel or Golbat for that matter. Golbat, like I said, does kind of take hits well, but... Um, Galatel might be risky, but if it brings it, it's going to be an issue for me. So that's why we have Shed Shell on Keldeo, for example. But yeah, that's the game idea. I really, I, like I said, I really need a win this time. I don't want to lose no more. I'm so tired of losing. I'm, I'm really tired, guys. I, I don't deserve that. And if I win, I mean, winning against Eric is, is a good thing. If I win against him, because it doesn't matter if he loses. Uh, so I, I'm hoping it doesn't go all out on me, so I have a chance of actually surviving, because my last two games are tough. Or really now, this game is tough too, because like I said, I don't really have the matchup to force him out. I'm, I'm, I'm actually forced to go for a Scarf Thunders, which just pains me. But uh, yeah, I hope that is for the best. But yeah, that's pretty much the size of things. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and this game is gonna go up on uh, Friday, actually, yeah. So, uh, while well, this video is recorded a bit after the battle, it's, um, it still is, um, yeah, 
I still needed to actually record this properly. So thank you everyone for watching, of course. And uh, with that said, I'll see you on Friday. Until then, take care. Bye.